So th this will continue in the coming years. This year, which we know as an eight year, 2024, we're going to see more of this kind of thing where there are opportunities for people to expand and up level and there's crossover. So even if you think of an eight, figure eight, there's times where the contraction in the middle makes you feel so contracted, so tight. It's so hard. You're squeezing. And then all of a sudden there's an expansion where you start realizing, ah, there's a better way. Ah, oh, I've learned so much. Ah, oh, I've grown so much. Ah, oh, I can change so much. So this is like an opportunity in a sense to that, that, that contraction time is a, an opportunity to make the change into more of this new paradigm that we're talking about. Thank you so much for having me. And as you may know, my name is Lori Ann Spagna. And I guess we're here to talk about the NDE and how that all happened. So I'll just share a little bit about that and how that took place for me. You're going to stay and be part of this interview. I guess she's going to join us for this. What was going on for me was that I was living in Maui for this period of time. And I was working um, as an animal communicator. What ultimately happened while I was living there was that my dog, whose name was Kenya, she transitioned. And I was so heartbroken, like completely just broken up over this and so much grief over her transition, over the loss of her. And I went to the class that night and I was driving to the class in Maui. And I heard my dog because I was practicing animal communication. I heard her like so clear. And she said, mommy, it's okay. I'm okay. Go have fun. Don't worry. But I'm like, you know, so hysterical crying. I get to the class where we're learning about energy. And I said to my teacher, please, can you just help me to know where she is? Please help me to know. Because he was... He was a master of energy and he himself had seven documented near-death experiences. So he put me in the middle of the room. There was a whole group of people around me because we were all working with energy. And while I was in the center of the room, he, this I did not know at the time. I did not understand this, but what I believe that he did in retrospect, everything in the physical world dropped away. And there were moments where in that space, like I could hear everything and see everything. And then there was like nothing for a little while. And then there was the experience of meeting up with my dog that she came to me in a sense, she was there and yet no body, there was no body and yet completely aware of her own individuality, right? Herself. And I had no body. There was no body. And yet I was completely self-aware, self-aware and other aware. And so the experience was just the recognition that she was fully present, fully conscious, fully aware of herself. I was fully present, fully conscious, fully aware of myself. And she was reassuring me, I'm okay. Everything's fine. But what was so amazing was in that space, in that space of awareness, from there, it was like there were other people who I knew in life, relatives who came, they also didn't have bodies and yet were fully individuated. In other words, they were themselves and in a way they represented as themselves and yet there was no body, no physical body. And I remember going to this state where it was as if like I was so list out. And I was having a conversation, not just with my dog, but with all of my own loved ones. And I guess you could call them like guides, guides, family members have crossed out, crossed over loved ones who had, who I had known, not just from this incarnation. And I remember saying like, Oh, I'm so happy here. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I'm so happy here. This is so wonderful. And they were like, no, you have to go back. And I was like, no, I just was so blissed out. I was so euphoric. And I kept saying, I don't want to go back. And they'd say, well, what about your other dogs? And I'd be like, oh, they'll be fine. You see, because it was like so blissful. There's just this awareness that everything is fine. 
everything's going to be fine. And they'd be like, well, what about your dogs are waiting for you at home? They need to, your other dogs need to be fed. And I was like, oh, they'll be fine. But if you don't get home to feed them, they'd be, they'd say this to me, but it was like choirs of beings. So there was this kind of like negotiating in that space, but there was no real negotiation because I guess it was obvious I was going to be coming back. But from my awareness and perspective in those, in those, in that not space of no time, I was so euphoric. It's beyond love. It's beyond what we measure as human love. It it's so it's euphoric. It's beyond bliss. But in any case, the class that night, every Thursday night, I would go. And this was in a place in Haiku in Hawaii on Maui. That class every Thursday night was two hours usually. So the practice started at the beginning of the class. It was 7 p.m. And it seemed like two minutes went by. For me, that's what it seemed like. But at the end of the class, I remember at some point there was this, I had this awareness that the teacher, my teacher said, okay, this it's time now. And I heard sort of like a counting one, two, three snap, like snap of fingers. And like, I just suddenly was in my body, right there again, physically present in the room. And at that point, everybody in the circle, like we, they all put their fingers on me. All they had to do was take their two fingers and touch me and their bodies went into what I call like popcorn, right? The energy starts moving through their bodies. So they're having these kind of like convulsive types of, but they're curled up. We're all curled up in these fetal positions, hysterical, laughing, hysterical for at least another half an hour at that point, because that's how the energy is. It's so euphoric. You're so, so blissed out that it just travels. All you have to do is just... And it, the whole room was for another half an hour, just hysterical laughing because it's so blissy. What happened after that was, it was amazing because after that, I was able to communicate with people who had crossed over in the early days, right? I just was able to, te my telepathic abilities went off the charts, the ability to communicate with animals and humans who have crossed over got even stronger. All my telepathic abilities got so much stronger after that. My ability to clear clairsentience, like clear feeling was so heightened. It was almost too much. As they've developed over the years, I have more and more been able to connect with more and more beings because now it's been over 20 years of, of this. And so there's so many beings in the non-physical world who are available to us to support and assist us. And I'm always asking, I'm always asking on behalf of humanity or of my clients or my students, or sometimes my colleagues, they come to me too. Generally speaking, overall, humans are being given the choice right now. And this has been going on. This has been building since the sixties and it's still building. It's becoming more and more obvious that there is a choice for all humans to make. And the choice is, do you want to try to stay the same? In which case, if you stay the same, you will find it more and more difficult to continue to thrive. Or you can change and to, to learn how to live in harmony, not only with earth, within your own self, within harmony, within yourself, within your own body, within your own mind, within your own, your own emotions, and with one another. And one another is all plants, minerals, animals, the physical and the non-physical world. Are you willing to evolve? Are you willing to expand beyond your own limitations of consciousness? So this is the real, this is the choice that we're being given right now. Based on our free will choice, every human gets to choose in their own way and their own journey. The hardships that humans are going through right now, because there is a lot of hardship happening globally, obviously we understand that, that is designed to help us to make choice, to see what's not working and to realize, to bring us into more consciousness. As humans make choices, 
the energetics for humans are going to shift on earth and it's going to bring us into states of greater kindness and compassion because hardship does unfortunately does oftentimes teach us it doesn't have to be that way however if we don't wake up and start realizing this it will get harder right so each individual will start experiencing their own unique experience to support their their soul in their soul's journey as they grow and evolve but the future of humanity these it's very clear there's two tracks two paths running concurrently right now and this will continue for the next few years yeah so let's understand that this is already happening it's already happening and a really good measurement where you see the two tracks running side by side is 2020 and 2021. 2021 is a great year to, to see it because that year, and I'll talk about future too, but just, just so you can understand, 2021, some people were in complete lockdown. 2020, some people were in complete fear. They were going through death experiences, very traumatizing. Other people, myself included, I was showing, I was doing my best to show people what else was possible. 2021, both of those years, I was traveling all around the United States. I was free, right? I, I never went through anything called lockdown. So that those are good examples. So th this will continue in the coming years. This year, which we know as an eight year, 2024, we're going to see more of this kind of thing where there are opportunities for people to expand and up level and there's crossover. So even if you think of an eight, figure eight, there's times where the contraction in the middle makes you feel so contracted, so tight. It's so hard. You're squeezing. And then all of a sudden there's an expansion where you start realizing, ah, there's a better way. Ah, I've learned so much. Ah, I've grown so much. Ah, I can change so much. So this is like an opportunity in a sense to that 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 contraction time is a, an opportunity to make the change into more of this new paradigm that we're talking about. That will continue for the next two years in a heightened way. What I would say is the potential over the next two years, I'm just going to listen because I'm what I'm going to give you is I wanted to make sure it's not just coming from my brain. The potential over the next two years for humanity to change in a heightened and dramatic way will continue to accelerate. And what will eventually come to pass over time, we hesitate. This is coming in through us channel. We have my own divine team. Sometimes they refer to themselves as the collective because there's so many beings coming together. We hesitate to make an exact prediction for as you know, humanity always has a choice and the choice is always available. And this is why we often refer to individuals choosing of their own free will, which types of experiences they will have. But we understand that what you are looking for, seeking at this time, is the collective experience. And we continue to reinforce this higher truth, that in the years ahead, there will continue to be what, a, what would seem to be two simultaneous realities run concurrently. This was stated quite accurately earlier. There will be an escalation of high drama type situations, including escalated opportunities for people to learn from experiences such as violence escalated opportunities for people to learn from experiences such as earth calamities and changes escalated experiences for people to learn from natural disasters escalated experiences for people to learn from and resolve we we would like to say from continued exposure to lack of integrity by world leaders and even what would formerly be identified as conspiracy 
which is now simply being accepted as more and more as various forms of secrecy being exposed. Coercion, manipulation, lies, deceit. Extreme levels of corruption and greed being exposed. This will continue to escalate to provide over the coming years to provide humans an opportunity for change. Understand that is the higher purpose and there is always purpose behind this and reason for it so that humans may choose of their own free will to make the change. What we suspect that through the next approximately eight to nine years, these changes will become more and more accelerated, leading more people to choose a higher path. And easily, within the next 10 to 15 years, the path will be well paved by those choosing peace, choosing harmony, choosing the light, choosing expansion, and anchoring this in for others, as has been discussed already. And as this is done, Humanity will find itself on the other side of the tunnel, so to speak, in more and more of what we identify as the higher, purer frequency bandwidths, where peace and harmony will prevail, and where more beings will be well anchored in choosing the higher path, so to speak, the new paradigm, as was described earlier. And so humanity will find itself eventually in more peace and harmony beyond the next 10 years, where these issues that humanity is facing at this time will be resolved primarily, and humanity will begin to rebuild anew. This is already happening. There is not one single culminating moment. There are many moments in the years ahead that will eventually lead humanity through what we would call a portal of peace. Peace and harmony and goodness for all. Where all will begin to thrive and prosper in the years beyond. We would say easily though for the next eight to ten years Although we will say this as well. Likely after your year of 2026 to 2028, the turning points will become quite obvious. So for the next two years, at least, life will continue to seem as it is now with heightened opportunities to see and perceive the changes we have been describing. The next two to four years will be very revealing. And then beyond the next approximately eight to 10 years, or perhaps even more, humanity will make a turning point for the better. We will also add this one other piece. In the years ahead, you will know beyond shadow of doubt as a whole of humanity, you will know that there is life on other planets and that you have interaction with those beings. The experiences will be likely in accordance with the two side-by-side -side realities as have been described, either more benevolent or potentially more challenging. Although overall, it will serve the light. It will serve the greater good. It will serve humanity's evolution. It will serve humanity's expansion. We will also suggest that in the years ahead, you will also come to know as a collective, this will become more and more known by all that you all have the potential to continue to Cultivate and develop your own unique connection with your source and to expand your infinite potential beyond anything you have perceived before and that that potential overall will serve your most benevolent best. 
And we would like to reinforce and remind you that as always, the choice is yours. And that as you choose to live and walk a path in your physical incarnated experience, that is of love, that is of the light that allows you to expand and prosper in ways that benefit all, you will always be safe. For safety is in your energetic vibration. Safety is in the way you think, perceive, believe, and behave, and in the emotional frequencies you carry and embody and share. Safety is within you. You will always be safe as you learn and choose to live in harmony with Mother Earth, Gaia, with yourself and with others. That is your safety. Be that vibration, choose it, embody it, and so it shall be. We hope this has been helpful. We are the collective. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. Thank you for having me as a guest. I would love, I love, love, love to stay in touch with people. I want to offer some people, some anyone, a free gift, some free gifts, if that's all right. Um, they can go to my, of course, I, I have a YouTube channel as well, which is my name, Lori Spagna. And if you would like to learn how to develop your own intuitive gifts and also to, to communicate with animals and develop your psychic abilities, you can go to lorispagna.com forward slash free gifts. And you can also, for even to help animals on a global scale, you can go to Lori Spagna. It's L O R I S. P-A-G-N-A, lorispania.com forward slash free gifts forward slash animals. And I'll just give you one more free gift too. If you would like to learn how to work with your own DNA and your own energy to help awaken yourself and your free gifts, your your DNA and your, uh, your abilities, you can go to lorispania.com forward slash free gifts forward slash DNA. I hope that's helpful. And thank you.